All right, so this is Mo. Today we're going to be connecting to a SIM 2K-240 ECU. Um, I'm going to be adding in the video the pinout for the boot pins and uh, we're going to be connecting the boot pins and then reading and flashing both the flash and EPROM of this ECU. All right. So this is the pinout where you need to connect and ground the three pins for the ECU. And this is what I'm going to proceed and do right now. Keep in mind I'm using a uh, Hotel uh, GVCI uh, to connect an Alex ECU flasher. So here I'm connecting pin 1, supplying some new tin solder just to um, have a better connection. Then uh, after that we're going to use a small adapter I've made basically a tiny alligator clip and three wires all linked together and yeah after soldering these three we're gonna ground this and we're gonna connect to the ECU using my uh, another cable I made which is basically OBD to some small pins to connect to the ECU connector and we're gonna ground this. The ECU is gonna be in bootloader mode. We're gonna open Alex ECU flasher and I'm gonna show you the whole process. So here I'm grounding it, I'm using um, for the ECU, doesn't really matter as long as it's grounded. And <clears throat> here's my adapter, it's a small uh, OBD bench adapter I fabricated in like five seconds. Here's the pinout, how you need to connect can low, can high, and ground, and the voltage. And we'll be right back with Alex ECU flasher running and the whole process. All right, so we're back. This is Alex ECU flasher. Um, ECU is connected and in bootloader mode, as you can see. Um, I'm reading the serial number currently. It's red, so everything is fine. I've already read the password, and let's dump the flash. So read flash. We need to open the password that you read before. I load the password in, and it's going to start the process of reading the flash. So the red has started and look at the bottom left i'm using a maxi flash gvci no tactress no open port no mongoose none of that regular hotel j box so yeah feel free to skip through this because i left the whole process just to you know explain how uh, you know give an idea a general idea of how it works All right, it's almost done. So when the process is finished, you need to switch the ignition power to the ECU off and back on. Wait a couple of seconds. And it should display a firmware red successfully. Um, let's wait on it. Right, so firmware red successfully. Now I've already dumped the EPROM of the other ECU, so I'm just gonna write it directly. Same process, uh, select the password file you read at the beginning and select the file you wanna flash and the flashing process should start uh, anytime now. Here we go. It's a smaller, smaller file, so it's flashing a bit faster. So again, at the end of every single read or flash process, you need to um, Turn off power again and turn it back on. As you can see, it from red successfully. Now we're gonna write the flash, and we're gonna select another ECU file, same ECU that I dumped from uh, 
different car and the process should start and here we go transfer this loader and it's starting to flash now uh, feel free to skip through this because it's uh, a bit long Keep in mind this video is for uh, informative purposes, I'm just trying to show the whole process of reading, copying, cloning, flashing, uh, sim 2k, assignments, continental ECU, for you know people who are trying to install a new ECU on these kind of cars. And yeah, we'll be back when this process is going to be uh, finished flashing, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, we should be about done. Um, so, at the end of the flash process, you need to switch the ignition power off. So, let's switch it off, switch it back on, and we should have a ride successful. Okay, right. Turn my ride successful. And yeah, that's pretty much the way to it. Now, I'm gonna write the app from. Just, you know. Again, it's the same concept. You feed the password file, you select the file you wanna write, and it's a lot more quicker. And here you go. This is pretty much done. Switch the ignition power off at the end, back on, and it should say right successful too. All right, well, thank you for watching, and I hope this video helps you guys out. Um, again, it's general information. A lot of people are saying you cannot um, use a regular JBox, like for example, a hotel a GVCI to flash an ECU, but I guess you can. And uh, this video is a demonstration of. Uh, the ability of those boxes to do a lot of uh, shops mechanics whatever have these box already in hand which is a lot easier than to order like the tactrix open port or um, 
any other kind of uh, specific flashing device. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, thank you for watching.